Exactly three years ago, I transitioned from Windows to Mac OS with Apple most value for money products, which never appeared in Apple Dictionary, the Mac Mini M1. I haven't looked back ever since. After three generations of Apple Silicon, I finally upgrade to the Mac Mini M4, and this is the most hyped yet value for its performance over price, specifically the base model. Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fast episode 127. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. In this video, I'll share what's new on the new Mac Mini M4 and why I picked the base model. For the same price as before, it features the most powerful single core performance chip and double the memories at 16GB. The most notable update isn't the internal, but the new compact design after 14 years of recycling use of the chassis. It still has the solid block of aluminium in 12.7cm by 12.7cm and compensate with a taller body at 5cm. It also reduced its weight from 1.18kg to 0.67kg. While removing the USB ports makes sense for the MacBook's slim design, it feels unnecessary for a desktop PC like the Mac Mini, especially when setting it up for the first time with a third-party keyboard and mouse. Even though it only has three USB ports on the rear, Apple added two more USB ports and moved the 3.5mm audio jack to the front, which is a godsend. However, I wish the front two USB ports were Thunderbolt instead of 10 gigabits USB 3. So, why did I choose the base model? The most obvious reason is that I'm broke as <laughs> Apple's upgrades are throat cutting, doubling the memory cost RM1700 while doubling the storage cost and additional RM850. For that price, you could get a second unit of the base model. If you're willing to spend the upgrade, I highly recommend getting the Mac Mini M4 Pro, which has higher CPU and GPU core while having 24GB memory and 512GB storage as standard. Coming from 8GB and understanding how efficient Mac OS memory swapping management is, 16GB is much more sufficient for most photos and video editing tasks. The storage on the new Mac Mini is finally removable, similar to the Mac Studio, but it uses a propriety connector. This means we can upgrade the internal storage at a lower cost, though only after the warranty period has ended. For now, I'll be using a portable SSD as a scratch disk, like the Kingston SX2000, and for uncapped 40 gigabits performance speed, I use the Kingston NV3 paired with a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. The overall experience has exceptionally improved compared to the Mac Mini M1 base models. This is thanks to the powerful new M4 chip, updated media engines, and 16GB of memory, which provide more headroom for intensive computing tasks, be it editing multiple raw photos or 4K 10 bits 422 videos. If you're coming from an M1 or even an M2, the upgrade is significant. Honestly, I didn't expect to say this, but the Mac Mini M4, specifically the base model, offer the best value for money that you can buy from Apple. That's all from me on the new Apple Mac Mini M4. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comment box below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you at the next one.